In this demo of Form Titan in Salesforce, I will show you how to capture payment from a user, create or update a contact in Salesforce, and associate a custom payment object with that contact. First, we have to put the product we'd like to purchase on the form. We'll capture the email and the full name of the user who is purchasing. Next, we have to configure payment integration. To do so, I will go to the form, settings, payment integration, enable payment, configure, select your currency, in our case dollars, I want to show the product pricing in line, I want to, to take a single payment but you can take a recurring payment as well. You can also optionally send an email to the end user. The next step is to select where to take the pricing from, which control, this time we we'll select the radio control we've got on our form and we'll enter our pricing, something like that. Click next and now you can select your payment provider. You can select any one of these like PayPal, Authorize.net, but I'll select Stripe. And with Stripe you need just to enter your private key in order to take payments. I will do so and click apply. So now you can see our payment is in line with the radio button. The next step is to go to the Salesforce integration tab and edit the push notification to Salesforce, i.e. create or update data. I will click edit, and now we need to add the object we want to create or update. Click add object, and select the object you want to create. In our case, it's the contact object. I'll select that. The action will be update, and we're gonna update it by email address. So the email address in Salesforce equals to the email address on the form. But if it's not found, I want to create it. As simple as that. The last task is to map the fields to create or update. And we'll say the last name from the form will go to the last name in Salesforce, similar to the first name. And the last field we have is the email address, which will go there. If I click apply, the last task we have to do is to enable the payment integration on the Salesforce action, you do that by ticking this box here and click apply. Now we've done that, we want to add the custom payment object to that user or contact, sorry. I will click the plus in order to add it as a child of the contact. I will select payment object and the action will stay as create, will we'll always create a new payment for the contact. And now we just need to map the fields. The payment name will be the product we have selected. The amount will be taken from the Stripe parameters we get back after the payment. So you select payment header parameters, followed by the amount. The same thing for ID. You select the parameters that we get from Stripe, and this is the ID. Currency follows the same way, and it's just currency. The contact is automatically filled by form Titan, you can see, because it is a child object, so it connects it to its parent, which is the contact. And the last field is the status of the payment, which similarly, it's the parameters, and then it's status. That's all we have to do in order to capture information and create or update a contact and create a payment to that contact. So let's see it in action. If we publish this, click view, you can select a product, type in the email, and then this is the full name. And now we can click on the buy, buy, buy now button which will pop up a payment window. You can see my email address is already there. All I have to do now is put my card details. Don't try this at home because this is just a test card. It will not work. Um, click pay and that's all I have to do. Let's go and have a look what's happened in Salesforce. So here is our contact in Salesforce. You can see the, the contact name, the email address and at the bottom we've got the payment product that we've selected. If we click on that you can see all the details we got from Stripe. So notice the amount is in pence, therefore you see 4,000 pennies, which is $40. Um, if we go back to the contact, 
and go back to our form and now the same contact will come and buy product C. Again, test payment at formtitan.com and test one payment. So this time we'll update the contact and create a new payment. Let's see. So again, pay now. There we go. Payment is completed and it created a contact. Uh, sorry, created a payment. We refresh the page. You can see that the name has changed and the new payment has been added. Thank you very much.